Good afternoon, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher at A Trumpet for My People. Today is September 20th, 2017. And I want to share this very important news item with you. Obama is speaking today at a global health event sponsored by the Bill Gates Foundation. I'm not going to show the video to you. I'll, I will leave the link in the description box if you want to see this. It shows a 49-minute speech. But let's read what this article says. It says, watch former President Barack Obama speak at the event on Wednesday. Former President Barack Obama spoke at the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation Goalkeepers event in New York on Wednesday to measure the progress of global health over the past 25 years. This event is timed to the United Nations General Assembly and the release of a report by Bill and Melinda Gates which measure, measures the world's health according to 18 indicators. These include infant mortality, AIDS, vaccine use, and smoking rates. Other speakers at the event include Bill and Melinda Gates, Prime Minister Trudeau, Will I Am, Malala and Stephen Fry. Okay, so I have been sharing with you that because we are in the year of Jubilee, 2017 being the year of Jubilee, that the key day in question that we are looking for is the Day of Atonement, Leviticus 25.9. Then you shall cause the trumpet of the Jubilee to sound on the tenth day of the seventh month. On the day of atonement you shall make the trumpet to sound throughout all your land. Then we have our three signs that are leading us to the day of atonement. Forty days from the, uh, the total eclipse on August 21st. Twenty-one days from the birth of Jupiter out of Virgo on September 9th. And September 23rd, the great sign of Revelation chapter 12 is a final seven-day warning to the Day of Atonement. What is going to be happening over these next days from September 20th to the September 23rd? What I wanted to share with you, what I have been sharing with you, is the coronation of the Antichrist that will take place on September 23rd and right now it is beginning their their revelations the involvement of Barack Obama in this world planning this is a global health event connected to the United Nations Obama is speaking this is just one event over the coming days the coronation of the Antichrist Okay, I found something the other day, very interesting. I didn't have this ready on my page, but we can look this up real quick here. And uh, find out that the Feast of Trumpets is the coronation of the King. Feast of Trumpets is the coronation of the King. Okay, and if we go here to images, we will see that Rosh Hashanah and its hidden secret. Well, Rosh Hashanah, head of the year. I've been challenging people on this term that is used in uh, the month of Tishri because Tishri is the seventh month. Okay, I don't think uh, it's correct for Christians to use uh, terms that are only based on tradition if there's no biblical support. So uh, that's one thing I've been challenging people to consider. But uh, here we have the day of the coron coronation of the king. And uh, this is what uh, trumpets, the feast of trumpets means. And this is part of the reason why 
the rapture, we are looking at the rapture in this jubilee year on the Day of Atonement because the rapture is going to be the judgment. At the rapture, there's not going to be a coronation of Jesus Christ because this, this is a uh, an event not before the world, it's not for the masses, and the, the, the majority of the world are, is going to be caught up in, in, in judgment. And so what we end up seeing then is that atonement is the more uh, important day when it comes to rapture because rapture signifies judgment, and then the second coming will be fulfilled when Jesus Christ returns and the coronation of the King and this every knee will bow and every tongue will confess and what a beautiful scene that will be what a wonderful day that will be you know our little uh, uh, ideas about how all the feasts were fulfilled and in, in in order the first time well we know that we know that now because we see how it all happened but everything, the way we think it happened the first time and the way we plan it happening the second time is a separate event and really is speculation based on what we think we know, right? We think we know how things are going to play out because we know how things played out the first time. Well, I don't think there's any reason, right? And if the rapture happens in a jubilee year, Leviticus 25.9 says the, the trumpet of jubilee will sound on the Day of Atonement. And I believe we are in that year, we are in this time, and the day that we need to be looking for is the Day of Atonement. And this gives us understanding then as to what all these other signs mean. Together with that, we have a 40-day, a 21-day, a 7-day warning leading us to the specific day that the Bible tells us to look for in the day, uh, in the year of Jubilee. The trumpet will sound on the Day of Atonement, the 10th day of the 7th month. And so we have the judgment on atonement and the second coming then will fulfill the coronation of the king. And uh, it's not in a little box that we can say uh, that God has to do things. No, God will fulfill things the way he sees fit and the way he plans. And he'll do what he wants to do. And he will fulfill the word exactly as written perfectly and the word says that in the year of jubilee the trumpet will sound on the day of atonement and since atonement is the tenth day of the seventh month it's obviously after the feast of trumpets so the feast of trumpets cannot be the last trump if there's another trump in the same year so many people are saying that the Feast of Trumpets is the, is the last trump, and then the Day of Atonement is the great trump. Well, that's a bunch of hogwash. We're looking at the Jubilee year. What is the last trump? Okay, we have to consider the term last trump. The last trump in the, in the year of Jubilee is the Day of Atonement. And uh, I don't think anybody wants to make themselves an enemy of God by trying to argue based on tradition. Let's just stick with the word, folks. This is all really, really clear, just as it says in Leviticus 25, 9. You shall cause the trumpet of the Jubilee to sound on the tenth day of the seventh month. On the day of atonement, you shall make the trumpet to sound throughout all your land. So here we have the last trump in the year of Jubilee will sound on the day of atonement. That means September 23rd is not what people think it is. It will be the presentation and the coronation event of the Antichrist. This is one news item that I'm sharing with you, and I will continue to watch as the days go by and see what other uh, events transpire and uh, where they bring in Obama to speak at this event about global health. Okay? 
So I pray you guys are all blessed in the name of Jesus.